everybody to okay so to this is going to be a another moving vlog yeah i can't clap because i'm holding the camera another moving vlog so if y'all was here since the beginning of my youtube channel um one of the first videos i posted was actually me moving out of my mom's house and into this apartment with my boyfriend and that video did well that video did very well um so um and then if y'all was also watching my channel then you know i created a video saying uh why i was ready to move out and what was going on at this apartment and you know this apartment was never intended to be a long-term stay me and my boyfriend we didn't have you know any rental history so you know it's kind of hard getting into an apartment when you don't have any prior history nowadays like the housing market is just so irritating um so this apartment was never meant to be long term like god knew y'all like god knew that I, we are just destined for something greater because <clears throat> i'm just gonna say this even when we tried even when we tried to stay because i gave us gave them my notice to vacate like hey you know we don't want to stay here we don't want to renew our lease and um they started showing the apartment showing people showing you know trying to get people to get in here and sign another lease and at this time we was i was we were searching for apartments you know searching 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 and i could not find out that my boyfriend couldn't find out there everything was just super hella expensive and all kind of stuff and i was just like i was getting stressed out so i was just like bae do you want to stay here and just do like a month to month lease until we find something he was like bae i don't care you know he really don't care as long as he with me so um i was like yeah because the problems that i was having in that uh, a video I made, uh, the reason I'm ready to move, I wasn't really having them anymore. I mean, kind of a little bit, but not really. And um, <clears throat> so I'm like, yeah, let's just stay here. Um, now, mind you, this place has quiet hours uh, and all kind of stuff, which is, I'm, it's understandable, but people don't abide by them. So what's the point of having them and then only enforcing them on one unit? You know what I mean? So, uh yeah, I was like, babe, do you want to stay here? And he was like, yeah, babe, whatever you want to do. So I emailed my landlord, like, hey, we want to rescind our notice to vacate, and we want to just turn it into a month-to-month -month lease until we can find something. Because, you know, the market, like I said, the market out here is just, everything is just high. Everything is high. This apartment was 975 when I had park it, it was 1125 So everything was just high, crazy high, like for a one-bedroom. Y'all charging me? <laughs> I'm looking for two. But anyway, yeah, so, mind you, I sent that email, I sent that email the night of the 4th of July. So, when they, everybody back in the office tomorrow on the 5th, they was able to see it. And I wake up in the morning and she called me. Well, I, did I call her? She called me. I think she called me and she was like, hi, you know, woo -woo, I just got your email asking to resend. And unfortunately, we had somebody sign the lease. Now, mind you, yesterday, nobody signed the lease. The day before yesterday, they had a show and nobody signed the lease. So, for somebody to sign the lease the morning of me sending that email and she saying that somebody signed the lease, I was just like, okay. Because obviously, God didn't want us to be here. You know, when one door shut, another will open. So, I was just like, okay, well, you know, that sounds good. Thank you. And I kept going. I kept looking. And, you know, I prayed, I prayed. I was just like, God, help us find somewhere to stay, you know, somewhere in your will. I understand that this probably wasn't meant for me, so I'm not going to trip. If it don't happen, it wasn't meant for you. And God got something greater. Amen. Oh, we finna have church up in here. Because I want to say that same day, July 5th, I swear, I swear, I swear. The same day after I got that email, after, she, after I got that phone call in the morning, um, I was just like, okay. That wasn't meant for us. It's not meant for us to stay here. We having too many problems. It's not meant for us to stay here. God got something better. I started looking again. After after we got on the phone, I mean, me and my boyfriend were just laying in bed, chilling, you know. And um, I started looking again on my phone. And I found where we moving in this weekend. And um, I found it, looking at the pictures, pet friendly, you know, community room, gym. 
outdoor patio with a grill so I can invite my family over and barbecue for them. Like, we have a balcony. I have a balcony. Oh my God, I just feel like I'm decorated so pretty and just be out there reading books. Oh my God, I have a balcony. We have in-unit washer and dryer, dual deckers, the new LG. Like, yeah, no more paying for laundry here, no more sharing laundry here. Our own new, new appliances, new washer and dryer. Walk-in closet. <laughs> Come on now, girls. A walk-in closet. Because I have so many purses. It got like a little, ooh, I'm just so excited. Y'all, the bathroom is so huge. Like, somebody could literally get, a, I'm just saying, this is just like, a, so you can kind of reference. I'm going to show everybody, but this is just a reference. Somebody could get a blanket and sleep in the bathroom and be comfortable. Like, the, it's just so much room in there. Have these beautiful, beautiful cabinets. Um, closet space for the linen and hampers. And, um, y'all, do not get me started on the kitchen. Do not, if y'all, come on now, the kitchen and the bathroom is, for me, like, the most important part. Because those where I spend my most time at. And, I mean, like, the the kitchen, the, living, the bathroom is so big, like, so big. Our sink is just so large. And the kitchen, y'all, you know, the kitchen is just, like, marble. Marble or granite. I don't know which one, but beautiful countertops high i mean high ceilings like nine foot ceilings um stainless steel appliances i think i have an electric stove i think it's an electric stove because in the lease it said no um gas appliances so i want to say it's electric but even if it's not i don't care it's stainless steel because i forgot like i was just so so awed by the beauty of the apartment and they just built this like if you go on google to look up the place that we moving into the picture that's up there is a picture of the um building being built like it's not the whole building yet and um i was just so in awe by the apartment i mean i have an island you could put the stools right there so people can be in the kitchen while i'm cooking like i like to like when i'm cooking for my boyfriend i like him to be in the kitchen like keeping me keeping me company you know talking to me while i'm cooking and yes you could put bar stools by the island well it's not technically an island but it is it's like it comes out like it comes out so you could put the two bar stools there i mean that's how the nice that's even how they had it in the model um Yes, I mean, just stainless steel, beautiful. I think I even have a dishwasher. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But just so beautiful. I mean, just like these big old cabinets. Just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Did not mention the balcony. It has a dog park for Sky, A dog spa. So I can take her bath without getting the tub dirty. Like, it's so beautiful. I just, I fell in love with the, I mean, key file for the keys. Somebody come to the door. I can see who they are from my phone. It's just gorgeous. Everything is gorgeous. The rent is not more than what I was paying when I had parking. So, like, I had, when we was here, I had parking for my key. It was 11 $100 more. But look at everything that we're getting. And we went to go. They showed. we had They had a show on that same day. I'm telling you, this is the day that I got. That they said that they signed a lease for this apartment. They had a show on. We went in there. Showed. We loved it. Fell in love with it. Applied. Approved. Just like that. 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 And I was just like, oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. Like, thank you, Jesus. Like, y'all, put your faith in Jesus, man. Okay, so my um camera died. But like I was saying, yes, that was crazy. So for us, for me to send that on the third, I mean, send that email on the fourth, call on the fifth. <laughs> my body look crazy. Call on the fifth, hoping we can resend that notice. Mind you, I wasn't the only person even trying to resend my notice. Somebody else even resent my notice, their notice because she was trying to show us another apartment. But she was like, unfortunately, they resent their notice as well. So, mm -hmm. so for me to receive my notice, try to receive my notice on the 5th, somebody to sign it on the 5th when they literally been saying for weeks, like, oh, we think we got somebody signed. We think we got somebody signed. So hopefully we don't got to keep showing your apartment. They said that for weeks and nobody signed. So for somebody to sign that day when I'm trying to rescind my notice, 
you know what I'm saying? I was like, hmm. And then, like I said, not even an hour later, I found that place. Now, y'all, I've been looking. I've been looking for a long, long time. Not even an hour later, I found that place. They happened to have a show in the same day. And we literally get up and go to the showing, like everything, apply and get approved. No problems, no co-signer, no nothing. Just approved. That same day. We talking about the same day, y'all. The same day. So, that's why I'm saying, like, y'all just got to cast y'all worries on God. Because I was worrying, right? I was very worried. I was worrying a lot. Because I'm like, dang, we got to get out of here. We ain't got no place to go. I can't find nothing. Everything is we don't like it. It's a bad neighborhood. Or it's just too freaking expensive. Like, that was the only thing. So, I was panicking. I was stressing. My boyfriend, like, babe, we going to find something. We going to find something. I'm like, babe, when? Oh, my God. And, yeah. Yeah, I prayed. And I'm like, God. I cast all my worries unto you, you know, worrying is not the spirit of the Lord. Like, he said, put his trust, put your trust in him, you know, so, and have faith. So, I'm like, okay. As soon as I did that, as soon as I prayed that prayer, and backed off. What? The same day, y'all? The same day. So, that's my testimony for this video is put your trust in god have faith don't worry cast your worries unto him cast them unto him y'all and just pray and just believe that he's gonna come through oh let me tell y'all about another reason he kept okay i know it's supposed to be a moving vlog but the spirit moving another way he came through is i'm supposed to work because today is wednesday we move on saturday i was supposed to work yesterday i had my because since we moving and all these fees and stuff and all this stuff we you know you're working you're working so every day counts like every work day count like <laughs> really no room to be calling off or nothing like that for real so especially considering this move day came up so fast though july 15 saturday and it's wednesday it's so freaking fast you know so everything has to just be accounted for everything in order so i got canceled yesterday at work and i'm like man you know, I got to make up that money. That money is already accounted for two weeks in advance. So, uh, I'm like, dang, I got to find a shift. Or what am I going to do? And I couldn't find no shifts. So I'm just like, well, I might just door dash. Just to try to come up with half of what I would have made that day. You know, I just do something instead of sitting on my butt. So, I go to sleep Monday night. Now, I also have to get Sky caught up on her shots because her stuff want to be due. When we got the move in, like that's just convenient timing, you know, that that stuff is due. Before. It's due, like it's her shots was up to date, but they expired right before we move in, so that's irritating. So then I got to get her up to date on her shots, and we got to pay the renter's insurance and just the U haul, just little bitty irritating fees. So I'm canceled. I'm like, man, so I'm like, okay, let me just door dash, you know, just come with the money, I will figure it out. Pray to God, cast your worries up to God. I go to sleep Monday night. Now, when when I um when I don't have work the next day and I want to work, I tell my boyfriend to wake me up when he gets up because sometimes emergency shifts to come through at like four or five o'clock in the morning for a six o'clock shift. So, um, I tell him, I'm like, I I gotta go to school, so I gotta <laughs> get ready while I'm talking. But I tell him, I'm like, babe, wake me up in the morning. So, it's. I, it's Tuesday morning. It's four. It's four fifty one. My mom calls me. She's like, Maria, I canceled this shift at this facility I was supposed to work at tomorrow, this morning from six to two. I don't really feel good. As soon as I canceled it, they posted it back on the um on the platform, the agency platform. They posted it back on the agency platform for four hundred and thirty dollars for that one shift but I want now then I say I like to wake up in the morning because emergency shifts come through in the morning and they be emergency pay because who really up at four o'clock in the morning waiting for shifts to come through me so it's 4 51 in the morning my mama like yeah I canceled the shift because I really don't feel good but they posted it back up there for 50 dollars an hour which comes from six to three which kind of took 450 some dollars picked it up in my sleep eyes barely open I'm like Hold on, let me go see. Boom, pick up shift. 4.51, I get up at 5, get in the shower. 
go to work. It wasn't even that bad of a day. It was a little busy, but I mean, I got everything done. That $450 was enough to make up what I lost for that Tuesday. And then give me some extra money for Sky Shops, the move-in fees, and the U-Haul. I said, thank you, Jesus, man. I woke up at 451, booked that shift. When I got up at 5 to get in the shower, I was smiling and praying. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because he came through. Come on now. Why my mama had to be sick? Why my mama get sick, dropped the shift, and they posted it as soon as she dropped it. But $450, that shift was, that shift was going for $280 on the regular. But since she dropped it at 4 o'clock in the morning, emergency pay is $450. So, yes, God is good. So, with all that being said, we moved Saturday morning. Um, and I already kind of started packing a little bit of stuff here and there. But, you know, that gives us Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Thursday and Friday, I work first shift. So, that gives us, I go to school, I get off at, I get out of school at like 11. So, they give me all day today. Half a th half Thursday and half a Friday. And kind of Friday, I want to put everything in the U-Haul so Saturday morning can be an easy morning. We can wake up, get some breakfast from McDonald's because we can't move into 12 anyway. I got to get shots. got to get sky shots done that morning. And then we move in at 12. So I kind of want it to be an easy morning. So I kind of want to move everything into the U-Haul on Friday. So that really gives us two and a, one and a half day to pack up the house. But... I'm super excited, y'all. And, yeah. I want to also add a few more ways that God has blessed me this. Not even, I'm not even going to say this week, y'all. Just today. Like, just in this one day. I've been, look, I went to school at 11.30. I mean, I went to school at 9.30. It's 11.48. I was supposed to go to school at 11.30. Y'all, I could just literally be on this camera all day about how God has blessed me. In these two hours, I was able to get um confirmation from my doctor to be able to turn sky into a service dog so she's gonna be a service dog in training um the trainer needed the letter so and mind you it was very hard to get in contact with my doctor she'd be booked out far 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 away i had an appointment i have an appointment with her on monday but i need the letter by saturday we move in um for the trainer and for the landlord so they can waive the pet fees she was able to write the letter so our rent is cheaper because we don't have to pay for pet fees and I get to start uh the training for Sky so she can be my service dog I'm so excited and then I literally just went to go drop my car off not even I wasn't even trying to drop it off I went to take it to the shop because I've been having some problems just two little issues so I take it up there he's like well we're pretty booked out he's like we're booked out to like the end of the month and I'm like well you know that's fine I'm about to move just I just wanted to see if you guys knew what it was and if you could fix it. And he was like, you know what? He was like, drop it off. He said, he said, drop it off, take the cur take the courtesy shuttle back home, and I'll get it fixed for you today. He's like, only got to pay a hundred dollar deductible for your warranty, and um, see if I can get it fixed for you today. And I'm like, well, I do have work in the morning, man. But if you can't get it fixed, let me know. That's why I said I can schedule an appointment and schedule for a day that I'm off. And he was like, no, we could probably get you in. He's like, I have a lot of cars, but I know this problem is this. He said, I'm going to call the warranty. I'm going to get you fit in. He said, I'm also take care of any other problems and make sure everything else is straight. <laughs> I'm saying, though, like, what? 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 Listen. And that happened literally since I said, okay, y'all, I gotta go to school. And now, two hours, I got the letter. Pet rent is waived. Car is fixed. What? House approved. What? 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 <laughs> y'all cannot tell me that's not God no cases up here tell me that especially considering I have gotten so many no's like no apartment you know but like with the doctor she being booked out far like I I'm just drenched in blessings right now yeah so I just want to add those in there too I know because those just happen them just happen 
and them just happened. I don't even know. I probably, you all know, by the end of the day today, I probably have so many more blessings I could share with y'all. But all of this really pertains to the video that's coming up on this weekend. All this really pertains to Saturday in our move-in day. Like all this, everything is just falling in line. So everything just moves so effortlessly and so smooth, y'all. So. So, yeah, I just want to come on here and just just share with y'all how God has been blessing me this morning. I mean, not this morning, this week. Man, he really been coming through. And I'm trying to find my shoes. Yes. Oh. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys how God has been blessing me this week. Like, he's really been coming through. And I just want to give you all a little bit of a teaser of what to expect this weekend. Because like I said, Saturday is the moving day. Saturday is game day, yeah. But, <clears throat> yeah, I just want to come on here and share with y'all how God has been blessing me this week. And this is kind of like I said, it's kind of just like a sneak peek, a preview of this weekend. So, you want to make sure you all stay tuned. If I don't post Saturday, since that's the move-in day, I'll probably post on Sunday, hopefully. So, yes, stay tuned, y'all, and pray. Thank you guys for watching.